Hello and welcome. I'm Igor from Integra Audio, a channel focused on audio plugin reviews. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, please make sure to subscribe. Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to talk about a new plugin from Arturia, and it's called the Tape Melofy plugin. The Tape Melofy plugin is a virtual tape machine based on the Mellotron. This plugin is designed to help you get that low fi effect on your tracks. It's very transparent and easy to use. In this video we're slowly gonna go over all of its features, so let's begin. As always, we're gonna start off with the GUI. Not too intimidating I would say, and also it is very nice looking. Now, let's talk about these modules in the plugin. So going from left to right, First we can see this is a preamp module with a VU meter and three knobs. The drive, tone and noise knob. The drive knob lets you adjust the amount of distortion in your signal. And you can also check for clipping on the VU meter above it. Underneath the knob we have the boost button to boost the drive even more. And yeah, the drive control is gain compensated also. The boost button can be helpful when wanting to add more grittiness to your sounds. The tone knob is useful for when you want to change tonal characteristics of the distorted sound. Turning the knob from the left to right lets you adjust the dampening and you can get a more darker sound with an old school effect. Underneath it we have the bypass button for the tone knob. And here we have the noise control for adding character to your sound. It emulates dust or worn out tape and in a result it gives you that gritty noise tape sound. Next to it we have the tape module with flutter, wow, wear and mechanic knobs. The flutter knob adjusts pitch deviation in the signal and kind of detunes it while also making a fluttering effect. Right to it we have the similar wow control. It does almost the same thing, but slower. Adjusting those two and mixing them in together, we can get nice double pitch modulation. So try to experiment with that. And the wear knob you see here lets you adjust the simulated wear of the tape. When the tape is worn out, it makes this crunchy sound that can be nice if you want to add a new texture to your sound. And next to the wear knob, we have the mechanics knob. This knob gives you that. Uh, recorded on a tape kind of a sound. It gives you the imperfections and textures with the tape motor noise and blends it in with your sound according to the amount set. Really neat stuff. On the right here, we have the tape rotor with the tape stop function. And down here we have the catch up modes for the tape stop. Underneath, we can see the high pass and low pass filter and above it the output control. And here, if you can see, we have the stereo width control. With it, you can make your sound wider. Also, let's not forget, the plugin is resizable from this menu here. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the presets while playing with the knobs and applying it to our instruments here.
you should definitely check out this plugin, especially because it's only $99 and even has a demo version. The amount of creativity you can achieve with this plugin is truly amazing. And that will be it for today. Thank you for watching guys. If you stay till the end, please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when we post a video. This has been Igor and I'll see you in another one. Peace out.